Okay, how you guys doing out there in YouTube world? Um, I was just upstairs at the air handler, but I just want to show you guys what uh what I do when I normally come. Client complained that there was no uh, air coming out, uh, so I turned the thermostat on on and I check if there's air coming out on the vent. Um, so obviously there's no air coming out, and uh, just show you guys that the condenser is right out this door right here. There she goes, and, uh, and right now I'm going to go in and find out uh, where, uh, get back up there to the air handler. So the air handler is right through here going up the ladder. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if it's under warranty or not, it needs to replace. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take care of it. All right, guys, uh, you see I just turned on the thermostat, and I just made it up here. Here goes the unit. I already opened it up earlier, uh, and uh, find out that the blower is not turning on. So I'm going to show you guys what I did here. It was the low voltage. So right now we're gonna check for 24 volts. All right, so right now thermostat trying to get the trying to get the this is like Chinese sticks here, buddy. I'll show you guys 24 volts. Okay, so you see we got 24 volts, so the fan is calling, but this is an X T motor and it's not working. So what I normally do here to check it. Uh, we're gonna pull the power out. Okay. We know the shaft is. Uh, we know the shaft is turning freely. Okay. I'm gonna pull this out here. We're gonna check for high voltage. Uh, we're gonna check for high voltage real quick. Okay. Put this disconnect back on. Now I'm going to grab my meter and uh, check for high voltage. It's not that easy, brother. Alright. So, we got 210 there. Man, I want to be hands-free like these other guys here. Let's do some videos. All right, so we definitely got signal going in as far as 200, uh, 240 volts, as you guys can see. Now I'm going to check for my 24 volts. All right, so this right here is the common. It's ain't easy. And you see guys, we have 28. So that tells me I have my high voltage in. It also tells me I got my low voltage in. And uh, tells me that this motor is not working good. So it looks like we're going to have to call it in. Uh, find out what's wrong with this motor. Uh, well, replace the motor. Sorry about that. Uh, probably check it out see if it's on the warranty. Um, these are the numbers. So... I think that's a 09, so let's check it out. Alright guys, hopefully you liked this video. Did a quick check on how to check the X13 motor. Um, let's see how it works. Alright All right, guys, see you on the next one. Thanks. Alright guys, forgot to add one more thing. So, uh, while I was here, just wanted to check the filter. 
normally check out the coil. Uh, everything looks pretty much decent. But when I pulled out this filter, this thing is in bad shape. So just uh, wanted to add this on my video and I'll show you guys uh, what it is. So here it goes. I pulled out the squirrel cage, taking it with me. My office is checking for warranty. And uh, we're going to be back and uh, put it on. All right, guys, I'm back at the job that I was earlier. This is the old motor. I just installed the new one into the uh, squirrel cage and all. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I normally do when I pull it out. I normally sand down this shaft part right here. See how this all this right here gets all rusted up? So I normally sand it down first. And, uh, and then I'll spray it down with some W40, all right, when it's in place. Um, sometimes I get lucky, I'm able to get that, get this motor, get this motor right out. So sometimes I'm lucky to get it right on. This one just uh, came right off the blower wheel, uh, the blower wheel without no problems. But uh, best bet is uh, sand first, spray, and uh, unscrew that screw and. Mm, then you're good. So this is the new motor. I still haven't put it into place yet, which I'm gonna do right now. It's a little difficult one hand. Normally I would make sure it's even on both sides. So it has play. Sorry about that guys, man. This is it's not that easy. So normally I look, make sure they both got same plate, same distance on each side, you see there, you see there, and then uh, then I'll go ahead and tighten up the screw. Alright, so for the meantime, I'm going to do that and then uh, I'll show you guys when it's, uh, soon it's, it, it's in and it's on. Alright, you guys have a good one. Hey guys, uh, I'm back here at that job uh, from earlier and um, I'm about to install the squirrel cage, plug everything in and... Uh, Let's see uh, it start on. All right, guys. Squirrel cage in right now. I'm gonna go attach this brown real quick. Plug in the plug in for the high voltage. Okay, so I'm also tying in the low voltage. What I'm trying to do here. There it goes. Everything's plugged in. And uh, we're going to start this motor up. Alright, so we're all in right now. Let's see if she starts up. Alright, so since uh, since my thermostat is off, I'm just going to jump it for now. So I know the thermostat sends the signal that I need. Yes, 
I'm gonna jump in right here. All right. I'll take the red. Jump from the red. To the green. Voila. There she goes. Turned on, guys. Everything seems to be working fine now. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, also got the filters. Also got the filters right here. So, I'm gonna put this filter in there and uh, button her back up. Put the filter in. Put everything back together. And, uh, she be good, man. Alright, you guys have a good one. Thanks, uh, for watching, man.